Welcome to Yukanic. Today here in Yukanic we have a 2012 Hyundai Sonata and it is the hybrid model and so it's a 2.4 by hybrid with a hybrid uh, system. So there's a couple things you're going to want to do to um, protect yourself when you're doing any work on a hybrid vehicle. Um, there are components that you can't touch unless you're certified to work on that portion but there are a lot of stuff that you can do and so I'm going to go over some of the safety things that you would do so that the vehicle doesn't move on you. Right, so a hybrid system, the engine can start up at any time if it's needing to charge the battery. And so you're going to want to do some protocols to basically eliminate that while you're doing any engine work on the engine bay or under the car or anything like that because you don't want it to start and to, or to move. Right. So to start with, we have the cluster here, and this is a push button, um, it's a push button start. And as long as this control, or I mean your key fob, if this key fob is in the car, you can start the car and move it. So a couple things you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna not have this key fob inside the car and you also want to make sure that this isn't in the ready position. So if you tap the button once for your engine start, it's gonna, it tells you that you need to hit the brake pedal, right? So we hit the brake pedal, and then we hit the start button. And you see this little ready symbol that comes up. That means it's ready. So right now it's running on the um, regular engine, but if, um, if the battery wasn't a little low, then it wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't start up. So it runs a regular engine to start it up a little bit and then it'll go into the EV mode, right? But we don't want to have this ready option on at all. So you would turn off the vehicle and make sure it's all completely turned off. And then make sure that you take this controller out of the car and keep it a ways away from the car so that nobody can get in and put the car in drive or the, the engine won't start up and drive on you. Uh, another precaution you can do, or should do, so because this is the hybrid model, this is all the hybrid, a lot of the hybrid system in under here, any of the orange cables that you'll see a connection here, this orange cable and so forth, that's all part of the hybrid system. Um, and so we don't want to, uh, be really messing around with any of that without going through the process of of disconnecting the hybrid system. But to also do a, a, another form of safety by the fact of leaving this key away from it, you can disconnect where the 12 volt battery is on this vehicle and the 12 volt battery is in the trunk, right? And so the 12 volt battery on the standard version sits right here. And so it's that's what sits here and it runs off your regular 12 volt battery. But on the hybrid versions, you have the hybrid system and computer right here, as well as the hybrid batteries in the trunk. They also put the 12 volt battery in the trunk. So we're gonna disconnect that 12 volt battery, just the negative on it. And that way this vehicle will have no chance of starting or moving because with the 12 volt battery, if it is dead, it will not allow the vehicle to start and to move in any form. And so to we can pop the trunk one of two ways. You can either go to the back and, and pull the lamp, or from the inside, we've got the button that's right here. And you just push that button, and that's how you unlock it from the inside. And then um, we can go around back and disconnect the battery. We raise the trunk, and right here is your 12 volt battery. You're just gonna pull this cover off. And then here is your negative cable. And we're going to loosen and remove that. And that way we have another safety precaution that the car will not start in a move. If you were really doing anything on the hybrid system, which, unless you're a skilled um, technician, is not something you would be touching. But if you do, 
there is a, a disconnect here to be able to disconnect the hybrid system if you are going to be touching anything like the generation and so forth and so you just lift this tab and pull that out and make sure you don't connect don't hit any of the connectors yourself together because it can be very harmful or fatal so with the uh, negative battery um, unhooked we can now do work around the vehicle and work in the engine bay and not have uh, the car start up and move on us thanks for watching Eucanic where you can be the mechanic